so I'm coming to you without hair and makeup done because it's not about my hair and my makeup. It's about your soul. So I wanted to talk to you here about um, different things the Lord has revealed to me. <clears throat> One is about time travel, right? So this is why I'm asking you to be prepared and that's by going back to the very beginning, the steps one to seven here, and doing them daily, giving them to your family, your friends, to get saved. It's a free will choice. Go through the journey at Holy, 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 daily to strengthen your faith in Jesus, using it as a tool. Don't just look for the most recent upgrade, upload, right? Go in there every day. It's your church, your fellowship. Use it every day. That's why you subscribe to it, to get fed. Mm. We need food for the soul. So that's God's word, the power of his word, reading his word in his book. We also can go to prayer. We go to fasting and then getting your gifts with the Holy Spirit. So please go through and get up to date on every video before you listen to this series that I'm doing. Because otherwise you won't have the capacity in your consciousness and your strength in your faith to hold this information. So we're looking at Ecclesiastics 1, 9, 11. If you could turn to your Bible, we're just going to bring in the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. I'll tell you one thing we're first going to do is the Father, the Son solar plexus and the Holy Spirit, right? The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is left to right. Amen. That is a prayer in itself and is an invocation for the Holy Spirit. So we are going to say the Lord's Prayer. We have got the Father with us and he hears your silent prayers for help and for letting your stress go. We're just going to do the Lord's Prayer together before we go into the Bible as you look up Ecclesiastics 1, 9 to 11 about time travel. We're getting it from the scripture and it's real dear. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Go, Jesus. He was even in the rainbow shop and, and Byron Bay. Look, rainbow shop, Byron Bay. We are the rainbow tribe. Yes, we are. Thank you very much, Doreen. Virtue. We praise, praise you. We pray for you, not praise you. Dear Father God, in Jesus' name, we call on the power of the Holy Spirit. May we enter the kingdom of God through your word today. Let's have a look. We're going to our book, our book, God's book, and we're reading, That which has been is what will be. That which is done is what will be done. And there is nothing new under the sun. So I'll urge you to have a look at, um, I'm not going to do reporting because I'm not here to do reporting. I'm just going to give you God's word. But what I mean by reporting is looking up doppelgangers, looking up how you can see that they have the same person is reincarnated and used again. And that's what we bring for God. Souls are different. So if you understand that, we are in time travel, yes. That's God's way of telling us. Now we're going to Ephesians 5. 15 to 16. And we need the New King James Version. That's what the Holy Spirit told me. New King James Version. Walk in wisdom. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Amen. 
And then, oh yeah, Elijah. We have a group with my um, Masters of Light who have done their Reiki with me um, called Elisha because Elijah gives Elisha the double power, right? So if you're wanting to get into that group, you need to get to Mastership as soon as possible. So that starts with your level one attunement and that's on my website. So Elijah, right? was in 850 BC, he was taken. 900 years later, Elijah shows up on the Mount of, Configur of Transfiguration, excuse me, talking to Jesus. And we see that in 2 Kings. See, Kings would be a good book to read next. There's lots in Kings pertaining to what we're doing at the moment. So it's two kings, two, 11 and 12. What is that fly doing here? Oh my gosh. New King James Version. I'm Googling it. Cheating. Then it happened as they continued on and talked that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it and he cried out, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen. So he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into two pieces. Then go to Mark 9, 1, 4. Got to say these words out loud. That's your food for your soul. Mark 9, One to four. And he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that there are some standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with power. Reappeared. Acts 8.39 Look at that. Acts 8 is about time travel. Acts 8 39 to 40. When they came out, up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away. And the eunuch did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. So Philip disappeared, and then he was instantly transported. Because he reappeared, oh, in Mark 9. He reappeared. So Philip disappeared there, and then he reappeared here. And he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that there are some standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with power. So time travel is real. It's in the scripture. Genesis we're going to look at now. There's references to it in God's word. That's why we study his word. But you have to have the Holy Spirit. We know that. Genesis 6. talking about the sons of God as fallen angels. Let's read it together. Now it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God, which were the fallen angels, saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves of all whom they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh. 
yet his days shall be 120 years. There were giants on the earth in those days, and also afterward, where the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. Those were the mighty men who were of old, men of renown. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping thing and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of God. This is the genealogy of Noah. Noah was just a man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God, and Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. So God looked upon the earth, and indeed it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And then they prepared the ark. This is where we are. God's telling you this is where we are. We're preparing our ark. We are the ark of the covenant. We are the ark filled with the Holy Spirit. It's amazing. So there is a bloodline here we know from the fallen angels, Genesis 6. The sons of God, he calls them. I don't know why he calls them that. Right, so giants are real. So giants are also mentioned, right? I'm just letting you know because otherwise you go, oh, no, that's just, it's like, no, they're real and they're coming back. Well, they're already here. They've been spotted. The military in their underground bases taking out the, how can I say that? ex Africans have come across them because they've gone underground because we've got inner earth. There's a lot of dimensions in the earth, right? So numbers, this is why the military, we sing the song, the power of Elijah with the military because we've come up against them. And God shows us in um, David and Goliath how to kill them because they, why? Because they regenerate. So the military has killed them. They can only kill them with copper bullets and then there's one other thing they must do. And that's shown, revealed, should I say, by God in his word in David and Goliath. Does anybody know? <laughs> We're looking up Numbers 13. 31 to 33. And we're in the New King James Version. But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants. And all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. There we saw the giants. The descendants of Anak came from the giants. And we were like grasshoppers in our own sight. And so we were in their sight. So come on. Wow. See, so if you didn't know that, you would always be sceptical. I mean, whether things are real or not. So I'm here to just share with you through the scripture what God showed me. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 2. 20 to 22. I'm just doing this because it's faster. I, should, I could look it up in my Bible earlier. So that was also regarded as a land of giants. Oh, giants formerly dwelt there, but the Ammonites call them Zamzumimim. Our people are as great and numerous and tall as the Anakim. But the Lord destroyed them before them, and they disappeared them and dwelt in their place, just as he had done for the descendants of Esau, who dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed the Horites from before them. They dispossessed them and dwelt in their place, even to this day. Mentions giants again. Wow. And then we go to 1 Corinthians. So these are scriptures regarding time travel was first. There's nothing new under the sun. 
They're all used again for the 7,000 years. The souls, the bloodline, I believe. That's what I believe it is. But you take it to the Lord in prayer. So we're going now to 1 Corinthians. Sorry, 1 Chronicles 28. There was born unto the giant in Gath, and they fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. See, David and Goliath. I just think, Goliath's not real, is it? Is he? It's like, now I get it. I've got the Holy Spirit. There were born to the giants in Gath, and they fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. Unbelievable. I mean, I believe it. So they are hybrids, right, because they're half the devil's bloodline, Satan, and half human. So they're Satan's bloodline because they're mixed. And they can get six fingers, six toes. That's what the giants have. They're polydactyl, it's called, hybrid bloodlines. That's what they call the cars, hybrids. Oh, my God. Genetic dis disorders. Chronicles, we're going to Chronicles now, 26. Can you believe there's this much reference to bloody giants in the Bible? Now, how did David kill um, the giant? You want to hear that? Chronicles 26. See, Chronicles is chronological. I don't know what that is. Is that chronological order? Is that six? Chronological. <laughs> First Chronicles 26. Concerning the divisions of the porters of the Chlorites with Melilla, Meshelemiah, the son of Kor, of the sons of Asaph, and the sons of Meshelemiah were Zehariah, the firstborn, Jeriel, the second, Zebadiah, the third, and Jananal, the fourth. These are the fallen angels. Elaine the fifth, Jerachaniah the sixth, and Eliphiah the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obedian were Shemaiah, the firstborn, Jehoshaphat, the second, Jehoa, the third, and Sakar, the fourth, and Nathaniel, the fifth. Amniel, the sixth, Asacha, the seventh, hmm. Palapa, the eighth, for God blessed him. Also under Shemaiah, his son were sons born that ruled throughout the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Othar, Raphael, and Obed, and Mesa, whose brethren were strong men, Eluhu, all of these are the sons of Obed and Bay. What's this got to do with it? It's always showing me the gene genealogy. Chronological is the record. Of the genealogy. See, God's telling us everything. <laughs> Gotta sit with the Holy Spirit to understand it. Second Samuel now, and then we'll close this with a prayer. So second Samuel two Samuel. So he hit the giant right with a rock. It's David and Goliath, and then he has to sever the head. Of the giant. Why? Because they're regenerative. Oh my gosh. So the satanic bloodline is regenerative. So they have to take their head off. Right? So the military have found underground bases where the giants have appeared. They can't kill them. They have to have a copper bullet. Right? And because otherwise, can you imagine? That's why they sing that song, the military, the Elijah song. Right? Because they know God's with them. Because they understand. Like, otherwise, it sounds supernatural. Do you know what I mean? Like, you go into religion and people go, oh, no, no, I'm talking about religion. It's like, oh, my gosh. So 2 Samuel 21, they had to sever the head of the giant to kill it. Once David did that, then all the other giants were taken. God looked after him, sent his angels. 2 Samuel 21, 20, and there was yet a battle in Gath where was a man of great stature, that had on every hand six fingers 
and on every foot six toes, four and twenty in number. And he also was born to the giant. So giants are real, okay? Okay. We're going to say thank you, Father, for all you've done for me, all you will do for me, for revealing the truth to me. Hold me in the palm of your hand, in your arms, or never-ending arms of glory and peace. In Jesus' mighty name, we say thank you, God, for being our God. I love you. See you in the next video. To find out, we're going to look at Sasquatches. They're real. Woo!